Hi, Design39 Campus, Gerald Pelding here. I'm with our amazing counselors, Amy and Ronnie, and we do have an announcement that we'd like to make and uh, talk you through it. So Ronnie and I wanted to let uh, the D39 family know that we have both decided to take a leave of absence for this next school year. Um, we want you to know how hard this decision has been for us. Um, this marks for us, the both of us, our 15th year as being a school counselor and we put our heart and soul into this work. Um, you know, our job requires high energy, working with the kids, and we've always loved that. But with our current situation, we just feel that we need to put that same energy back into our, our own families at this time. Um, we both have two elementary age students, and we wouldn't want to give anything less um, than we have in the past to the school or the community. And I just wanted to add how um, grateful I am for the opportunity to have been at D39 the past two years. As Amy said, we've been counselors for 15 years, but in the last two years, I think I've learned more than I have in a very long time. Um, I'm so appreciative of being part of a community that supports us, that's so welcoming. Um, working with teachers that are so innovative, and most importantly, working with a group of students that just blow, blew our mind away every day by their creativity and their forward thinking. And um, this experience has just been wonderful, and I'm so proud of what we've been able to accomplish with opening a new counseling center. Um, we had over 3,000 students come in this year um, to work with us and collaborate with us, our No Place for Hate work and just all the relationships that we've been able to, to build over time. I absolutely agree with Ronnie and how amazing these um, has always been, the support, the community, the families, it, it has always blown me away. Um, I've enjoyed watching all the kids grow, especially from elementary to middle, some on to high school, and how lucky I am just because of that TK8 school. That, that's that's the, the benefit of having that. You get to see the kids grow, and, and they have made such growth, and they're truly elevating humanity. I'm going to miss them all so very much. Um, I'm grateful to have gotten to know so many of the families and remember how supportive this community always is. We are so thankful for the opportunities of the Counseling Center and the campus. We got to build those connections and build that community. And that has been just really a highlight for me for this year. And I want to just thank you all for the kindness you've always shown. And that's what makes this place special. It's about people. And we couldn't have a more amazing counseling team in Ronnie and Amy and all the love that they've given our children. We wanna make sure that those programs continue and those things that connect us all. Uh, the Counseling Center, bringing 3,000 students in, it's because that was a safe place. And we wanna continue that moving forward. And we wanna continue no place for hate. I mean, that is a campus. We're a leader in that space with our small and mighty black parent group and all the other work that we do on campus. So ensuring that continues, we need to find the right people. And so we'll be working on that to ensure that we can continue to grow and, and develop our kids in that way. And we also wanna thank deeply Ronnie and Amy and doing that right work. My mom was able to stay home for all 10 of us. We have 10 kids, right? And it was the greatest gift we ever had. And so we wanna just thank them from the deepest parts of our heart and know that we'll be reaching out to you, our families, to say, what are those critical things that you saw that our counseling team brought to us to ensure that those things continue? And we wanna make sure that in hiring that next group of amazing individuals that we are elevating humanity. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.